Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and Lucy Wretch. I hope you are well. Guys, you might notice I'm in a different space. Today we have fully moved into filming into my new studio. I have got so much room for activity. It's amazing. I made myself a coffee before I get going, trying on all these items and I'm just so excited to have lighting, have two different camera angles so you should be able to see me from afar, see what I'm wearing. No more cramped little studio dressing room in my home. I have upgraded to an office for ELR style that has room for me to also film in. So it's gonna be a good one. It's my first ever video in the new studio. So let me know down below in the comments if you are feeling the new studio, if the lighting's better, if it's much better to watch my videos this way. Let me know what you guys think and hopefully it's all positive. Today's video is one I'm really excited to bring to you. It is my autumn Zara new in video, which I have been waiting to do. I've been waiting for the right time because I feel like Zara can be so hit and miss for mid-sized women or plus size or anybody over the size six to eight sometimes. So I've been waiting to give Zara a fair chance like I did this time last year and it was such a hit with so many pieces. So I feel like today might be a hit as well. Fingers crossed. So let's get going. I just want to make things right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this jacket, which I just absolutely love. This one I've got in a size large. I'm so happy that bike jackets are back in fashion. I love bike jackets. I remember when I was a personal shopper 10 years ago, maybe, I went to Topshop Personal Shopping Oxford Circus, um, and these were so in, real leather ones. I've actually kept them because I feel like if you're going to go real leather, you need to keep those items, which I did. Topshop boutique ones, they were really expensive, so I've kept them, and I will always keep them. They're just so beautiful, so I'm really glad that these are back in um, fashion, and obviously this one is a faux leather one, but it's just as nice. It's stunning. Zara have delivered. I feel like it goes so nicely with outfits like this one, or you can put it with dresses and tights. It's just a really nice transitional jacket to have in your wardrobe right now while we are in between seasons where it's still a little bit warmer than it is going to be in a few more months. But then again, this will be really nice for in spring to wear with bare legs and boots as well. So I feel like it's going to be a really good piece. I have wore it with this bodysuit, which is from my brand ELR Style. It's our latest body suit that we've just dropped. It sold out within two hours of the first launch, so it's restocking this weekend. So if you like it, don't sit on it because it will go. But I just find them so flattering. They go with loads of different things for this season. It was great under this jacket, jeans, it was great with skirts, joggers, loads of different things. So I wanted to wear it as part of this video too. So if you were interested in it, you can actually now shop down below anything ELL style on the bottom of my videos. Really easy. It takes you straight to the website. So. And then keeping of the theme of dresses and having a really good staple to have in your wardrobe, I have gone for this. So Zara brought out loads of dresses in this style, but in different prints over summer. And then they've brought it over to autumn. So I'm envisioning this with ties and this gorgeous leather jacket over the top. These biker jackets are a huge game for this season, which I am so about because teaming these little floaty dresses with masculine biker jackets. Can't wait to try this one with some ties. I think it'll be a really nice classic look to put with different coats over autumn. Tights, boots, it'll go with nice camel coats, it'll go with black overcoats, formal coats, and then leather jackets while we're in this transitional period of time. But again, you can wear this on a night out with heels. It's gonna look really great and versatile. I've got this one in an XL and it is $49.99. So this is really nice. I'm glad I got the XL in it. I feel like the size fits perfectly. I feel like if I got the large, it would have been a bit too tight and like not enough room to move around in. Whereas I feel like this is just perfect fit. The only thing that's really bothering me is these beads on here, which look like a really nice idea, but honestly, the noise, I feel like I'm going to wear it's just a bit too much, you know? Like I've got like some marbles or something that I'm rolling in my hands, it's just unnecessary. But other than that, I really like it. Again, I feel like it'll look gorgeous in summer with bare legs as well, if you wanted to have a dress that has sleeves but you can get your legs out, you wear it with flat sandals in summer and spring, it'd be really nice. But then for right now, in autumn, wear it with ties and boots, it looks so gorgeous and I will definitely be getting a lot of wear out of this. Also, we have got this blazer, which I just thought was so stunning. It is size large, £55, and I just thought this is going to be so nice for office, but also weekends, evenings. It's just a really great flattering blazer to have in your wardrobe. And it also looks quite seasonless with the shade. I feel like you can get away with it in winter, autumn, spring, and summer. So I wanted to try this one on for you as well. Okay, next 
is leather. So I just love this time of year, teaming up like a nice top, knitwear, anything like that with skirts and tights. So finding a good leather skirt is so hard this time of year. And then I feel like when you do find one, it's great to keep it and get it out every single year. It's a really good staple to have. So I've picked three to try from Zara today. We have got this one, which is like a wrapped over style short mini. Then I've also got this one, which is a Scott. Oh no, sorry, this one, which is the skater, which is looking pretty short, if I'm honest. So we'll see what that one's like, but I do love a skater in autumn in leather. And then the final one is this one, which I do have something already so similar to this that I always get asked about, which is a Scott, but it has a knot. They've now brought it out with this wrap detail. So it's shorts at the back, wrap at the front. So I'm gonna try all three of these on for you with the same outfit so we can see which one we think is the most flattering and worth buying. So I'm trying these skirts on with the ELR style Charlotte bodysuit and just some black tights. These boots are public sale, but they never come back in stock. So I found a really similar pair from Simply B that I've linked down below as well. She is snug. So I don't love it, but I don't hate it at the same time. I feel like here, is not ruching in the right way. I just wish it kind of, I wish it kind of ruched more here rather than here. But I do feel like it is a good fit. It fits perfectly. I feel like it can't be any bigger, it can't be any smaller. The length's not too bad either. I feel like it'll look really nice with a, like a fancy, more formal bodysuit for like a nighttime dressy look. If you wanted to do like bare legs and like a nice glam top for a night out with a blazer over the top. Actually, I might try it with, imagine a different blazer, I won't go for this color, but, and a different top. But I feel like this skirt, you could put like a um, band t-shirt with it, tucked in, and then like a blazer. I feel like it's a really good building piece to have to wear in multiple different ways. I feel like it would be a good staple to have. I just think it looks good on the side with a blazer, open blazer. I feel like it would be a good piece to have in your wardrobe. However, I'm gonna try the other ones on, let's compare. So next is the skater one. The only thing I will say about Zara, I feel like their zips are always terrible. Like stuff like this, like they kind of, invisible zips, they're just a nightmare to get on and off. This one again in XL. I feel like the zip is better on this one than the last one. This belt that goes with it. I've never seen a built in belt before with that Zara rubber. I've taken the belt off because I feel like the belt made it look really cheap. But I don't hate it. I feel like it's actually quite flattering. Um, but it just looks, I don't know, you know, I'm just like, mm, it looks a little bit cheap. It's not giving me, like, I feel like it might look quite nice with a jumper, a crop jumper over the top, so like this, and then something, I don't have any crop jumpers here with me right now because I wasn't expecting to have to style it with me, but let's use our imagination. I feel like it would actually look quite cute with a crop jumper over the top. I think this looks a little bit dated together. I also feel like the length is a little bit too short, and I feel like it just, I don't know, I think it's a no for me. I have actually got one here that I would much prefer that was from In The Style and Tisha Sandu's edit and that one is so much more flattering because it has like a pleats in it and I do think that actually a black pleated leather skirt is more flattering than this one because I feel like it just hangs to my belly and also the way that it sits on the waist is just like not going into my waist, it just kind of sits in a really unflattering way so this is a no from me. And then this one is the Scott. I've got this one in a large. So I feel like this is gonna to be too tight knowing that those ones literally just fitted me. Weirdly the large will fit, but I can already tell it's a no, so I'm gonna try it and get the zip up because as you walk, the shorts ride up, which is just so unflattering. So no. So I think the first one actually is the winner out of this contest, however. I'm not 100% sold, so unless you are really looking for a short leather item to add to your wardrobe, then I think I would give all three a miss. It's this amazing dress. So I saw this in store and I had to add it to the app straight away because it is just beautiful. Honestly, in person, this print, the tie-dye, the mesh, it is just a vibe. And I think with this over the top, I can just see this really working. So I'm gonna try that one on for you now. 
she did not disappoint. Wow, I love this so much. I'm actually surprised that the medium fits so well. I actually think the sizing by accident worked so well. If I got the larger, it wouldn't have fit in the same way. The only thing I wish it was a little bit longer. So I'm five foot two. I feel like if you're like five, 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 seven, you're just gonna come a, dif a different length to what it is on me. Um, and I actually would prefer it to be a little bit more like maxi to the ankle where it kind of just cuts off before the ankle um but i love the print i love the fit i feel like the mesh on the arms is beautiful the actual design of it is stunning i've styled it with the jacket over the top um, and you can wear it with like knee high boots underneath as well if you want to go for a boots look um but yeah i just think it is beautiful it's so worth the money it'll be a really good outfit to have in your wardrobe this autumn and like i said i've put the skins underneath it definitely helping me out in this area but to be able to wear a bodycon and feel comfortable i have to have my skims on and it is just doing the job honestly i just love this so much for autumn i feel like it's a dress you can get out and wear like i said with boots or you can wear it with heels and wear it through the day or at night it is stunning then this one i saw on tiktok it was trending it, you know TikTok at the moment, it does, I don't know if you've got TikTok, but it does this thing at the moment where it'll say like, if you watch a video at the above the search bar, it'll say like, whatever the search is about, and it says Zara trending dress. So obviously I had to click on it, and then it appeared. Um, so I'm very intrigued. I have got this in XXL, so I think that's like a 16 to 18, which might be too big. But I wanted to just try it to see how it fits, because it did say it came up small, but... In person, I'm not I'm not looking hopeful for this. I feel like it was one of those things where TikTok says it's good, but is it good? I've got this ruching detail here, bone in, nice little bust, and also these straps are adjustable. So again, it is saying all the right things, but it just depends how it's gonna look in person. So let's try it on. This was an ordeal to get on, I'm not gonna lie to you. I tried to get this on on my own. I feel like I've actually like punctured a rib trying to get this on. So if you are going to try this, then make sure you have someone help you get in and out of it because, wow, this was honestly. <laughs> if you are looking for a dress that gives that wow factor, you're going out on a girl's night out and you're wanting something that is definitely a bit more revealing, then I do get the hype about this dress. It is stunning. It's so pretty. The way it's ruched in all the different areas. It's very booby. Um, it does give you a bit of support because it has the straps at the back so you can adjust them to be tighter or looser and then it has this corset detail here and then ruching here so i do i do like it i just feel like it's something i would ever wear at the moment because i don't go anywhere um to wear anything like this it's definitely like a clubbing dress or a holiday or anything if you wanted to like make a bit more of a statement then this is the dress i definitely get why it's viral on tiktok then, if you watched my H&M haul I did a few weeks ago, I said that I'd ordered two jumpers from Zara that I wanted to compare them with because I had a bit of a love-hate relationship with them. They have arrived, so I'm going to test these against the H&M ones to see what we think. I got this one in a size medium, which I did say in the H&M haul was a size large, and I was going to get the size medium, which I have done. And then this one I have got in a size large and that one is 32.99. I already prefer this one. I feel like it's not got as bad of a drop sleeve and also the neckline with the zip and the quality just feels so much nicer. So I'm already quite biased to be honest because the quality feels so much better. But let's try these on and I'll compare it with the H&M ones as well. So this is the one that I have been dreaming of trying on and it has not disappointed. It's so beautiful. I did just try it in comparison to the H&M one which I did in my last haul and I have to say, Right now, I'm trying both on, I think this one wins. I haven't watched the footage, so it might look different when I come to edit this video. But I just feel like the quality of this is just unbeatable. It's gorgeous, it's thick, it's got a good, nice structured knit to it. I feel like I need to come a bit closer so you can see, but I just feel like it's just got such a lovely, lovely shape. Whereas the other one, as I mentioned in the H&M video, if you didn't watch it, it's linked down below, the neck just didn't keep its crew. It kind of kept moving, it was baggy. So I feel like I'm actually gonna keep both, but I'm gonna use the H&M one for day-to-day -day work, and then this one for more dresses, so if I'm going shopping, or I wanna go for like a nice meal um, through the day, or anything like that, or lunch, this will be my fancy jumper, and the H&M one will be more like my work, I'm not too bothered about whether it gets mucky or whether it gets a bit rough and ready, whereas I wanna keep this one nice and premium so I can get it out every single year, and it's gonna last 
Whereas I don't think the knit and the texture and the fit of the H&M one would last because it just doesn't have that quality and you can just tell like it's already starting to stretch a little bit. Whereas this is just stunning. I do want to try it on with the leather jacket. Obviously I would not wear leather trousers with it, I would wear black, just leggings, jeans, anything like that. I just wanted to do a test to see if it would fit because of the knit. Oh, it does nicely. I am surprised. I thought it would be a little bit like this, but it actually fits perfectly. Please just pretend I'm not wearing <laughs> leather trousers with it. But I am pleasantly surprised. This and this together is a dream. Black leggings or boots or jeans, blue jeans and Converse or Air Max or New Balance. I feel like this video is coming soon of me wearing this in different ways because I just love this combo together so much. And then we have this one, which again is super similar to the H&M one, but again, much better quality. And the fit of it, everything is just so much nicer. I love that this fit has a zip, so if you want the option of zipping it up and down and creating more of a roll neck, you can. It's got longer sleeves, so I didn't like the one before, they had that three quarter. It's a black rather than a blue, and the length of it is just a little bit nicer as well. It's got the similar sides, but I personally think, again, Zara wins over H&M for these knits. I just love them so much and I will be keeping this one too because it is, again, such a nice staple to put with leather leggings like this or you can put it with Ugg boots and just normal black leggings or anything really. It's just so it's super comfortable and really great for wearing underneath shoelaces, jackets, coats, you name it. There's so many different ways to wear this and I'm sure I'll be wearing this again on TikTok and Instagram and shop really soon and how to style. Then next is this blazer dress. I got this one in a size large, it's $59.99. Again, if you wanted to shop any of these items, I have linked everything down below. This one I'm feeling is like gonna be girls night out vibes, especially around Christmas and leading up to party season. Having a really gorgeous classic white blazer dress is gonna be your best friend. So I saw this and thought, it's ticking all the boxes. It's really nice and fitted on the sleeves. It has this nice wrap detail here and it's not got that awful bit where it's like, I don't know about you guys, if you've ever tried a blazer dress and it's like crossover like that, you walk and then the next thing your knickers are on show. It doesn't have that, it already has like a dress underneath. So it is literally ticking all of the boxes. The only thing I am worried about is the sizing because it does look quite small for a large, but it might be pleasantly surprising. So I'll try that one on for you now. So I just tried to get this on and because of the way it's supposed to, it's supposed to like climb into it almost or put it over your head, I can't get it on in the large, so I need the XL. And I feel like because of that, it might not fit on my shoulders very well. I do have this issue with blazer dresses because I'm quite small here, but then I have larger hips. So I feel like it's going to be too big up here and then too small on the bottom. So, because it's white, I'm not even going to try and prize myself into it with a full face of makeup on. But obviously, if you want to give this a go, I will link it down below. Um, and I will actually try the XL as well to see what that's like. And then the last one is a bit of a wild card. It's this one. I saw it online. I actually think I saw somebody wearing this on Instagram actually as well. And I was like, I mean, I'd be stupid not to try this. So I had to do it because I just love these feathers. I mean, it is a little bit early to be thinking about Christmas, but I'm already thinking about Christmas. So this I love. It has this open neck, which I think is so nice. I thought this would look really nice with leather trousers and black boots. Or I have seen people style it with a white skirt, actually. And I did in summer get a white skirt from Zara, so that might look quite nice with it. I don't have it on me right now. So I'm gonna try this on. It does look like it needs a little bit of a steam because it is a bit creased but I'm gonna try it on with these leather trousers. I've got these in an XL. So I'm gonna try these on and hopefully they'll fit. And like I said, I've put everything down below in the description if you wanted to shop any of these items. All the codes are down there too. Um, wow. So I know it needs steaming. Please bear with me. Like I said, I just moved into this new studio space, so I don't have any steaming with me, which is serious error. But um, just imagine it's obviously crease free. And I'm definitely gonna shoot this again because this is just so, gorgeous to wear with the leather leggings or leather trousers as it, as it starts to get a little bit colder and you want to wear something a bit more fancy for a drinks, meals, nights out towards Christmas. This is a vibe. I love it. And again, I feel like obviously it's very statement. You'll be able to get it out again next year for, for Christmas. And it's one of those pieces that, you know, if you want to make a statement, you know you can do it. The length is really nice. The fit on the, sh on the shoulders is beautiful. 
it's really nice and fitted down the side. It's got this really nice V here. The fabric's beautiful. The feathers are amazing. And I just think it is 10 out of 10. I love it so much. I might actually try and do a video of styling this in different ways because obviously it's such a statement piece. My initial reaction is to put it with black leather, but I would actually like to see it with white, like it was styled on Zara, um, and also different ways of wearing it for a bit more of a casual look maybe. But yeah, I will definitely add that to my request list if that's something that you guys want to see. So I hope you enjoyed my first video in my new studio space. It's been amazing to have the space to film before I would literally be so cramped in my dressing room, whereas now there is room for activity. I'm so happy that I can actually show you the full length items. It's no longer cropped or the side bits. You can see everything, which makes me so happy. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this new space, if there's any bits you want me to try from Zara that I haven't included. I'm happy to be a guinea pig. Send the list over down below. I will shop them, buy them, try them. Or if there's any other brands you want me to try for autumn, I'm up for trying some Mango, River Island, anything that you guys want if you haven't already check out my H&M video and I also did a new look haul which was really successful that you might find some items that you love and if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one thanks guys bye